Pace A is a randomized phase three study comparing SBRT or stereotactic body radiotherapy um, with surgery for intermediate and low risk prostate cancer. The study was conceived when basically da Vinci robotic prostatectomy was becoming much more widely used and SBRT was evolving as a treatment for, for prostate cancer. And we felt it was important to try and compare these two treatments in a randomized study. It was difficult to do because it's difficult to randomize against surgery. Um, and therefore the, the numbers were relatively low, but it, you know, we did successfully randomize 123 patients. Patients were randomized on a one-to-one -one basis between SBRT and surgery. Surgery had to be robotically assisted or laparoscopic. It couldn't be an open prostatectomy. And SBRT was delivered initially only with CyberKnife, but then as the study evolved, it was delivered on LINAC platforms as well. Um, so the study randomized 123 patients um, there were there were 60 in the surgical arm and 63 in the in the in the um, SBRT arm, and we had two co-primary endpoints. Uh, we expected that urinary toxicity was likely to be a bit worse with surgery, and likewise bowel toxicity was likely to be a bit worse with SBRT. So we designed it with two co-primary endpoints. The first was urinary continence, which was use of pads at two years, any use of pads, um, and then EPIC bowel bother, which is a toxicity measure again at two years. And what we found um, was with, with surgery, the use of pads was 46% at two years, whereas with SBRT it was 4%. So it was a highly um, statistically significant difference between the two. But likewise with bowel bother, on the EPIC scale, the, the, the most you can get is 100. And for surgery, patients scored 97, which is very good. And for SBRT, 88.7. And again, that was um, you know, different between the two. Bowel rates were still very low in both arms, so significant bowel complaints were very, very low. And we also compared sexual bother at two years. And again, for a, a full score, you can get 100. Um, on the surgical arm, patients scored 27, and on the SBRT arm, they scored 57. So that was, again, highly statistically significantly different, and sexual function was much better with SBRT after surgery, uh, compared to surgery. Well, I think the important thing for this study is that we've now got level one evidence um, of the different outcomes that we can expect with these two treatments. And I think it's important that patients are aware of it. So when patients are making decisions about their treatment, they should be aware of this data. Most of these men with intermediate or low-risk prostate cancer treated are not going to die of prostate cancer. Um, and that's really important. So if you take that out of the equation that most will not die, then the side effects of the treatment are really important to their decision making. And I think understanding their risks, understanding the, the likely impact on their sexual, sexual function, the likely impact on their continence and bowel function, are, all should be taken into account when patients are making a decision about which treatment they want. I think oncologists will find this data very useful. I hope the surgeons will find this data very useful. And I hope patients will be better informed when they make their treatment decisions.